so today I thought it would be really fun to go through some of the questions that, that you ask me. I've had a few questions on Instagram and some through my comments and I thought this might be a wonderful space to share all the answers with all of you together. <laughs> Why you become a vegan? Because I just love animals so much and I believe, truly deeply believe, that every living thing has a soul. Just like my soul, I believe that every animal does. And recently I was thinking about this when it comes to medication, that we trust in the medication that we take based on the results that have been tested on rats. Now, if we believe so strongly that this medicine is okay for me because it's okay for a rat, if we trust in that and that there are so many similarities between us and the rat, then there must be something that connects us. I personally believe in a soul and I believe that every single soul is in quality the same. And in, for that reason, I feel I can nourish my body in so many different ways that I don't necessarily need to um, harm an animal to do that. That is why I became vegan about 10 years ago and um, I honestly have never looked back. How to know if I am becoming my best self? How do I know? Well, it's really simple. Do you feel like you are better than you were yesterday? Don't think about the bigger picture. Think about it on a daily basis. Do I feel like I'm better than I was yesterday? Am I being kinder to people? Am I being kinder to myself? Do I feel more content on a daily basis? Am I doing things that I love? Am I one step closer to the goal that I'm trying to achieve? Everything can be done step by step. Don't worry about being the best version of yourself today. Just think about being a better version of yourself today compared to yesterday. And as you progress through life, eventually you'll go year after year after year thinking, oh, who was that person? I don't know who she was. She's a completely different version of me. Instead of trying to become the best, whatever best means, I'm just trying to become better every day. I don't intend to hurt people sometimes. It just happens. <laughs> Do you get body odor? No, I smell like roses and peaches constantly. No, actually, I smell of spices and food constantly and it's not that cute. Oh my gosh, my mom always tells me, she's like, can you just, why don't you have a small area in your house that you can do your tarka, like when you stir fry the spices, because when you add spices to oil, that's when the smell travels through everything. The worst one I'd say, but I love it so much, the worst one is mustard seeds. When you saute mustard seeds and when you saute fenugreek or something called methi, they are pretty stinky. Oh, and hing, asafoetida, whoo, it's pongy before you stir fry it. As soon as you stir fry it, it ten times is and travels through your entire home. So if you like food, then you really like smelling me. <laughs> Do you watch TV? If so, what's your favorite Netflix show? Throughout the pandemic, I watched a ridiculous amount of TV. For some reason, I don't know why, I've actually heard a lot of my friends say this, that they went through the most amount of um, TV, documentaries, movies that they would probably never even want to watch, but they watched it for some reason during the pandemic. I think it was a way to kind of numb through what was going on. I don't know what it was. But for the past two weeks, and it's only just started two weeks ago, so it's still early, um, me and Jay both decided that we were going to stop watching TV completely. And I can honestly say it has been the best decision of our life. Instead of turning on the TV every single night, we decide to read instead. He's reading his thing, I'm reading my thing. So it still feels like we're spending time together in the same room, but we are doing our own growth. We're doing our own learning. And then sometimes we'll discuss it. Sometimes we won't. Sometimes we'll go for a walk instead. Um, we'll connect to friends. We'll make calls. It's just been such a nice way to keep our mind active and stimulated without dulling it. I really find TV, especially, sorry to say, reality TV, it actually dulls the mind. As much as I thought I was enjoying it while I was watching it, I kind of feel like I lost a lot of my intelligence through it. Jay literally keeps saying, he was like, I feel like I became a lot dumber during this pandemic by watching so much TV. Yeah, and, and I didn't realize that until I stopped it. Sometimes I think a habit becomes so ingrained into you that you feel like it's normality and you feel like that's how you should feel until you step away from it, until you stop doing it and you're like, wow, it honestly felt like my mind was just so much clearer. I was waking up in the morning enthusiastic and excited for my morning routine, which I hadn't felt for a long time. Like my meditation, I was doing it, but I was struggling through it. And I honestly realized it was because of my evening routine that was really impacting my morning routine. And that evening routine had too much stimulation from, from movies and TV and the things that I was watching were coming into my dreams. And oh my goodness, my anxiety levels have gone down by like 80%. 
over these two weeks. Um, I'm appreciating nature more at night. I'm looking at the moon more. I'm sitting outside. I'm honestly, I just cannot emphasize enough how like different it has made me feel. So I really recommend stopping watching TV. But if you do want to know the shows I was watching, if you don't want to give it up, I was watching. Um, I don't even tell you. I'm so embarrassed. I w did, I have to say, I did watch some reality TV. Everyone was going on about Love Island, so I watched a bit of Love Island, and oh my God, it was terrible, but also juicy. And the other thing I, oh, I've been watching, I watch Suits. Nowadays, I tend to watch a lot of things that my friends are in, because it's always fun seeing your friends, like, on TV. So I watch Grownish because my friend Francia is in it, and she's phenomenal in it. The other thing I'm dedicated to on a weekly basis is, oh God, what is, what is it? Oh, This Is Us. That is a really good show, actually. It touches on lots of topical issues and issues I feel are really relevant now, and they deal with them really well. So I would definitely say that's a good show. So This Is Us, and then I watch The Octopus Teacher. That was good weird but cool anyway i can't remember the other ones i'm watching because i haven't watched it for a whole two weeks and it's kind of left my mind that's how disposable they were exactly <gasps> why do none of your recipes have onion and garlic i love garlic so much trust me i used to love garlic so much too the reason i stopped eating onion and garlic and the reason they're not in my recipes is because in ayurveda it says that onion and garlic are great medicinally they have potency to do so much for our body but in small quantities but nowadays we've increased the quantity of how much we um, eat them so much that it actually has become inflammatory to our body it actually increases heat in the body and it apparently agitates the mind and so if you are practicing a yogic lifestyle it is not recommended to have onion and garlic in your diet um, on a regular basis a song to describe you. Ooh, she's sweet but a psycho. Na 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 psycho. Na 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 na. If you haven't heard that, you should listen to it. It's really good. <laughs> How does Jay handle you? You can be so annoying sometimes. <laughs> well, maybe you should really be asking how I handle Jay. Hmm? And also, rude. Why do you and Jay look so much like brother and sister? You tell me. Is Jay really a nice person? No, he's terrible. Are you and Jay related? Me and Jay are not related in any way at all. Our families are different, from different parts of India. The only thing that's similar is our eyes. And actually, if you look at our features, we don't actually look alike. The only thing is we both have colored eyes. He's got very sharp features. I have very round features. And um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. How do you do the half bun on the top of your head? I'm going to show you. I have no mirror, just FYI. But I basically just grab hair from either side and then I do this and this. How does it look? <laughs> what are your thoughts on alcohol? Do you drink? And if you don't, what do you drink at social events? So I have actually never drunk alcohol. It was a personal choice. I always said if I wanted to, I would try it, but I just never wanted to. I have a family member who's addicted to alcohol. I also have seen a lot of my friends act in certain ways that I never wanted to act when they were drunk. And so I think I got put off it at quite a young age. Um, I also felt like I just had enough energy when I went out that I didn't need it. I just realized I didn't want to put anything into my body that, that that numbed me from anything. I wanted to feel everything, I wanted to experience everything. That was just a choice that I made and then I got to 30, I'm now 31 and I realized I just, I'm, I didn't have the desire, I don't have the desire now. And so instead when I go out, oh I've come up with so many different concoctions of things that you can drink in a wine glass that still tastes really great and you feel like you're part of the party. So one of the things I drink is pomegranate juice with a spritzer, delicious. Sometimes add a bit of mint in there, make it a little cocktail, uh, mocktail. I've been very honest about it. I used to get teased about it at, at college a little bit. Um, and then I would just pretend like take the drink and just, you know, shove it out the window or, or give it to someone else. But I was always very confident in my decision. And I think that stopped me from having to even explain myself. It was just something that I had chosen to do, just like they had chosen to drink. Do what you want to do. That's honestly what I've done. I just, I'm, I'm not unapologetically myself. Yeah, I know. I've never drunk. I never really wanted to. Even with, um, I've never drunk, never done weed, never smoked a cigarette. Never really done any of that. I imagine I did a lot of that in my past life and then I was just like, meh. I get a natural high from my meditation.
How do you stay disciplined? Look, through my times of not being disciplined and times of being disciplined, one thing I have definitely realized is that if you are not doing it for you, it will never stick. I remember a lot of my friends would tell me that they wanted to go vegetarian because of me and that they were inspired by me, which is so sweet and so lovely. But as soon as I, you know, was maybe not in their life as much, not checking in on them as much, they wouldn't be vegetarian anymore. That's just one example of something that I can think of. But if you're doing something for someone else or because of someone else, it's very unlikely that it's gonna mean, you're gonna be able to maintain it because you have to have a deep belief of why. Why am I doing something? Be really rooted in the reason behind it. Like for example, in my meditation, some days I wake up so uninspired and really don't want to. But what keeps me going is my deep reason of why I'm doing it. I know why I'm meditating. I know that it's because I've experienced it. It's made me a better person. I know the physical benefits. You know, I've, I've made sure I have solidified the benefits of what I'm doing and why I am doing something so that even if I don't want to, I get up because of those reasons and I tell myself them every single day. And so I think it's all about your rooting in why you are doing something that allows you to maintain your practice or be disciplined even at the times you don't want to. Okay, so those were just a few of the questions you all asked me. I'm sure we will have so many more and I would love to do these again. Let me know if you like them and maybe in the comments it would be really useful to maybe have the rest of your questions in there. Then I can go back to them and answer those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was useful. And if it wasn't useful, hopefully it was at least entertaining. Sending you all so much love and thank you all so much for watching. If you really, 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 really like this video, then leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. And even if you didn't, subscribe anyway, because I'm sure I am positive there will be something that you like in the future and you will regret not having been subscribed because then you'll miss the video and then you won't be able to see it. And um, thanks everyone for watching.